We have now at the end of a four year journey in the Turks and Caicos Islands. And I know uh, you all would have supported me along with my capable team, the ones that you helped elect it. Uh, we put our shoulders to the wheel, um, taking us from a deficit in position and budget, uh, massive debt, and uh, we're now the, the envy of the Caribbean in terms of uh, economic growth and, and, and development in this country. Most persons who were unable to pay their bills um, or pay their mortgage back in 2012 are now able to do those things. You see the difference between us right now and those who want to be in the position where we are at is that we have already laid the foundation and we already started something. All we want to do is the opportunity to finish it. You are going to um, the college and you'll be finishing in, in about six months. And I know coming back uh, as someone who's trained, who was a beneficiary of a PNP education, both locally and also overseas, uh, coming back to, to actually take your rightful place in the career, in the job world, in career in Turks and Caicos, and looking into business. Because what we really want our young people to get into is to not only be the employees, we want them to be the employers to own their business. And we're not only focusing on the traditional mainstream uh, businesses, we are focusing on businesses that, Turk, that will help to diversify our economy, and that Turks and Caicos Islanders already have the innate talent and ability to deliver on that have not yet been captured or nurtured. Our micro, small and medium enterprise program do not allow anyone to downplay it. What we're gonna do is to step up our game even more so in the next level, providing even more incentives and in programs and access to funding, et cetera, that will ensure that we have our small businesses um, owned by Turks and Caicos Islanders, that when we talk about being economically independent, we are truly economically independent because the, the wealth that we have here is homegrown and it will stay here. So when, when, when you have a, a global meltdown, the global economy, uh, yes, we may be impacted, but we are less, so we are more, we are more resilient as a country because our wealth is homegrown and home-owned. And so that's what we want to do, and that's how we can take it to the next level with respect to the economy. But we have to do so through education, and we'll continue to educate our people. But now that we've already paid off debts, and now that we are generating surpluses, we're going to take those money and reinvest it in our people through education by building the various educational institutions, uh, from early childhood education to the creative industries and technical and vocational schools uh, and institutions. Um, and expand the curriculum and the degree offering at our community college so that those persons can um, get that education that they need right here in Turks and Caicos Islands. And for those ones who are more academically inclined and have to go overseas, we will put our, our money where our mouths are and spend on them as well. We have recently um, invested so much in education that we have expanded our community college education uh, free of charge to persons up to age 40. Um, you know, and that's t that is taking uh, the interests of the people at heart. The first school built in this country in 25 to 30 years uh, was built by this administration. Our big plans we focused, we put forward in our manifesto, the big five to thrive. And, and all we want to do is to highlight some key and critical areas that can make a difference in people's lives and make a difference in this country. Um, our import duties, we, we know, needs to be reduced because if we have the opportunity to reduce our import duties, then those persons who are in business uh, will, not, will not have come up with capital up front uh, to purchase goods before they even make a dollar. And so it, it, it enhances business development of those individuals, those individuals who own for their own personal goods. They have more disposable income because the duties are now reduced to 10%. So this 10%, reducing duties to 10% is a significant accomplishment for us and we will do so. Um, and this will be facilitated by our plan and, and not only our plan, that we, what we want to do, what we know that we can do to inject a billion dollars in the economy in the next four years. 
we were able to inject during this time with, uh, with a slow start, with limited budget, uh, coming from a deficit position, paying off debt, we were able to inject $150 million alone from government um, revenue into the economy for infrastructure development. So imagine when we get to the next level, when all of those hotels that are about to be built on Grace Bay Beach, when all of the infrastructure work the government have planned to develop, such as the seawall in Grand Turk and such as the uh, sewage treatment facility, or such as the stormwater drainage here in Providenciales, such as new schools, new clinics, uh, these, are, these are works that will inject money into our economy. And so we need, we need to make sure that we want to protect your wealth and your, and your well-being by addressing crime. And um, we, as part of our plans to, to create this, what you call uh, safe communities. And, and safe community just simply mean that we, will, that we will focus on having the, our communities that are well developed and having well guarded and monitored entrances and exits and also within the community that are well lit uh, with effective community policing. You know, back in the day, uh, we had police officers, even though they were not stationed in the community, they walked too often enough that they knew every person who lived in every house in that community, and the person knew the police officer. Uh, but we have moved away from that, but we have, to get, we have to go back to that because we have to make sure that we have police officers who are stationed, who are assigned to a specific community. We, the government, we, we intend to help to subsidize, to help form the community neighborhood watches and help subsidize them. We are really invested in the, in the purchase of CCTV to be installed in the next few months. So uh, I, I think people have to really think twice about the choices they make because if you, if you, if you stop the progress now, uh, you will be, maybe change the guard now, you'll stop the progress or send us backwards. Our immigration law that already have the, the components in it to do biometrics, uh, fingerprinting and, and facial recognition, that everybody come into our ports of entry, uh, airport in particular, um, we identify them through facial recognition, photo photography, and um, fingerprinting, uh, so that at any, in, in any point in time you stop anyone on the road, we know who you are. If we can't identify you, means that you don't belong here, and we need to deal with you accordingly. Yes. We can be able to check your criminal records uh, through a well-integrated uh, um, identification system with your personal ID, a unique identifier. And so all of those will be integrated systems to help us combat and fight crime. And in talking about the illegal immigrants who may be the ones committing crime, we have, we have to deal with that. And our plan to create this virtual uh, wall you know, a lot of people sometimes when, we, when you talk about it, they laugh at it and think it's Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. but, we, we, no, we, uh, but this is the wall that we can build. And those persons south of us, are not, we're not going to make them pay for it either. We can pay for it, even though persons question whether or not we could afford it. I mean, my God, come on. We just paid off $170 million in just like that in, in three years' time in debt. And you want to tell me we can't afford to put in place a virtual border wall with drone surveillance system, radar systems lining our southern border, of course we can. Yes. We just have to prioritize it. Yes. And, and we intend to make that our priority to secure our border with or without the UK assistance. Yes. Uh, we know it's their responsibilities, but it's our people who we're trying to protect. No, right? Yeah. So, so we, we, we are going to put those things in place. We have already had proposals for drone surveillance system, for drone systems. And, um, and budget accordingly. So we already know what to budget. Actually, we already budgeted for it in 2017 budget. And, and our other things that include our Big Five to Thrive include uh, our free daycare. Um, you know, a lot of persons have talked about that and whether or not it's, it's warranted and needed. And we, we, are, we are a party that have a social conscience and a strong social conscience. Even though we, we, are, we are strong capitalists as well, because I think the PNP was always pro-business and business development and, and all that, but we also have a strong social conscience, and it's evident in the things that we do socially, from the National Insurance Board to the National Health Insurance Program, uh, and now going on to a free daycare program. We, are so, we care about social issues and people. And so we're going to help our single mothers. We're going to help those persons who are working uh, multiple jobs or those persons who cannot spend enough time at home with their kids and need help, need a helping hand.
to, to give them a, a, a head start um, in, in, in that money that they pay for daycare, they can take that and put it invested in something else. And so there's a big plus to a free daycare program. It's worked in other countries, and so why can't it work in Turks and Caicos? Again, we can fund it. And it would not be, you know, we, we would not go about building these big uh, daycare centers. And No, we will work with, uh, we, we'll work with what exists as a daycare, as an after-school program in our existing school system, and we'll work with those establishments that, that have already have established daycare and helps to subsidize them to provide the services. That's we we have some the, the road ahead. Uh, I wouldn't say it will be easy, but it will be much easier than it was this past four years because we have already lift the heavy load. We have already laid the solid foundation, and we are now um, preparing ourselves for growth to take it to the next level in Turks and Caicos. And now's the time. Now it's not the time. For, to bring on other persons on board who will knock down what was already established uh, or slow down the, the, the progress because they, they now have to just study the plans and understand what is required to be built. So um, this election is a very critical election. And I don't know if people truly understand uh, how important and significant this election is. If you say you like the, the work of the Progressive National Party, and you truly believe in a progressive national party, then you need to vote for the progressive national party. You need to vote for each and every member of the progressive national party because every vote counts. That, that one vote that you give away, or that one vote that you give away to others, other than being from the PNP, or that one vote that you don't vote, will be that one vote that will cause the PNP to lose that one seat. And that one seat cause you to lose the government or to get in a position of bargaining and coalition. And those are never a good situation to be in. And most of you would not have gotten everything that you would have won from the government. No, you would not have. No one would have. Some of you might have been disgruntled and all, right? But you, but you see the value when you put your differences and your personal differences aside and see the value of having a PNP government as opposed to anyone else. And so we have to encourage all of those persons who are undecided, who are disgruntled, uh, to put their personal issues aside and come on board if you truly believe that the PNP is the best party to run this country, then put the differences aside and vote for the PNP. Yes. The greater good. Yes. Country above self, yes. always. Yes. So thank you for your support. And on December 15th, you know what to do. Straight down the line. Straight down the line. Next level. Next level. Next level. Next level. All right? <laughs>